Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. If you're doing plant breeding or animal breeding, most of the traits are going to be additive, not like in simple Mendelian genetics where we have dominant and recessive alleles. Instead, many traits would be influenced by many genes and every gene, every variety of the gene which we call allele just would add something to the trait. So today we have this type of the problem and today we are going to use permutations in order to solve this problem. So here's the problem with variety with red kernels genotype A prime A prime B prime B prime was crossed with a variety with white kernels genotype A A B B the F1 were intercrossed to produce an F2 if each primed allele increases the amount of pigment in the kernel by an equal amount what phenotypes will be expected in the F2 generation assuming that the A and B loci sort independently what will be phenotypic frequencies we are told that one parent has red kernels and a genotype is A prime A prime and B prime B prime and B cross with another parent which has white kernels and whose genotype is A A and B B and we call this parental generation so let's put P here and we have parent 1 and parent 2 and this is how we are going to get next generation which we call F1 generation. All the F1 generation are going to have one prime A allele from parent 1 and one A allele from parent 2. One B prime allele from parent 1 and one B allele from parent 2. And we also cross with uh, intercross meaning uh, self cross self pollinate these plants that means we cross with another same genotype and this is how we are getting F2 generation but in F2 generation there are going to be segregation of genotypes and phenotypes with different uh, ratios let's find what phenotypes are going to be genotypes and their ratios. Of course, one variant would be when all four alleles would be with prime. So A prime, A prime and B prime and B prime. And only one such combination are possible. Another variant would be where three alleles are going to be primed and one not and for example take a look a prime a prime and b prime and b another variant can be a prime a prime and b and b prime another variant can be a prime a b prime and b prime another variant can be a a prime b prime b prime again here all the combinations listed where we have three primed alleles so this column represent all combinations with three primed alleles. Now let's find uh, combinations, how many combinations we have where two alleles going to be primed and two not. For example, the first variant would be A prime A prime and B B. Another variant would be A A and B prime B prime another combination can be A and A prime B prime and B another combination can be A prime 
a b b prime yet another combination can be a prime a b prime b and the last combination can be a a prime b and b prime so six such combinations how we can um, permutate uh, two alleles prime and two which are not next set of combinations would be where we would have only one allele which is primed and three which are not going to be primed so let's list those combinations so first variant would be a prime a b b another variant would be a a prime b b next a a b prime and b and the last one would be a a b and b prime so no any other combinations are possible and the last combination would be and the only one where all four alleles are not going to be primed so a a b b let's now find how many combinations we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen total number of combinations are sixteen and here in this column we have only one combination so one sixteenth in this column we have different phenotype and four four sixteenths so we can put just four or if you like four sixteenths here we have six combinations so our ratio is going to be six four here and one here so here's our ratio one to four to six to four and to one so as you see this is very different from uh, dehybrid cross in simple Mendelian genetics where we have one allele dominant another recessive one dominant another recessive so uh, such a cross would produce phenotypic ratio as 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 but here with additive trait we have different picture and our answer is going to be one phenotype would have uh, red kernels four out of 16 would have dark pink kernels six would have pink kernels four out of 16 would have light pink kernels and one out of 16 would have white kernels and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day and see you in the next video Goodbye.